making a library will. If everyone donates their favourite book, then others can borrow them and read them too. Great! I'll go and find my super speed annual. Everyone should definitely read that. And I'll go and tell everyone about the library. <gasps> my little beehive key ring. It's gone. That one looks like an angry bear. And that one looks a bit like you, Oakley. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, everyone. I've come to tell you all about my new library. If everyone brings their favourite book, I'll put it in the library so others can borrow it. That's a wonderful idea, Holly. Let's go and get our books now, Raggles. Oh, but you don't have a book, do you, Oakley? No, but why don't you all do a show and tell before bed and tell me why you like your favourite books so much? That's a great idea. Come on, Raggles. I'll go and tell Will about tonight. Bye, Oakley. My Dancing Dolphins book. It's my favourite. Um, Rosie, this book's got nothing in it. Oh, that's my scrapbook. I really must find something to put in it. Oh, I'm never going to find a book to put in Holly's library. What am I going to talk about tonight? Why don't you write a new story? Oh, of course. That's exactly what I'll do. I'm going to write the best book ever. Great! I'll leave you to it. I'll go and read my book at the picnic area. Hmm. Look for inspiration. It's all around me. But where is it? Maybe it's under here. Or here. Hmm. Strange. Someone must have dropped it. What an amazing car! Oh, that's nice. Oh, but it's no good. I just can't do it. I can't write a story. And I won't have anything to talk about at the show and tell. Yes, thanks. I just sat on something uncomfortable. And I still can't find anything to write a story about. Oh, Raggles. Safi said inspiration is all around me if I look for it. But I have everywhere. And I can't see it. Maybe Safi's right. Look. We're going to make a book, Raggles. But what will I put in it? You're going to use the things you found to help you think of a story. Let's start with this. Now, think of something that goes with the car. Uh, once upon a time, there was a boy called Will who was mad about going fast. Good start. <laughs> I think I might be able to do this, Rosie. <laughs> because flowers provide food for insects and they can cheer people up. And that's why everyone should borrow my flower book from the library. Hooray! Hooray! Yay! Oh, thank you, Holly. It sounds like a lovely book. And now 
it's time for Raggles to tell us about his book. Um, uh, this book is a bit different. I made it myself. Oh, that's my picture. This book is made with things I found around the garden. If they belong to anyone and you want them back, just say. Let's hear the story first. Yes. Carry on, Raggles. We want to hear. Once upon a time, there was a boy called Will who loved to go fast. Vroom, vroom. <laughs> That's me. One day, his friend Rosie was collecting a jar of honey from Big Bear's bees when a cheeky rabbit ran off with it. <gasps> Will picked Rosie up in his super fast Speedatron 3000 and they chased the rabbit to the lake. There, they found their friend Holly picking pretty flowers for her picture frame. That's my posy. I thought I'd lost it. Rosie and Will arrived, but the cheeky rabbit hopped into a boat and sailed off with the honey. But Holly knew just what to do. With a special whistle, she called her friend Daisy Dolphin. Hooray! <laughs> Rosie and Will jumped onto her back, and with a flick of her tail, they gave chase. Finally, the cheeky rabbit stopped at the riverbank, and there were all of Will and Holly's friends. The cheeky rabbit had arranged a surprise picnic, complete with delicious honey sandwiches for everyone to share. <laughs> the end! That's my beehive key ring. You found it. Hooray! Hooray! <laughs> Here you go, Big Bear. No. You keep it. But your key ring is really precious. I know, but it's even more precious as part of your story. OK, I'll put the book in Holly's library so everyone can borrow it and see their things whenever they want. I think we should call it The Book of Lost and Found. Hi, Big Bear! Hi, Rosie, Reggles, Will! Don't forget Space Hippo! <laughs> Hi, Space Hippo! Rosie. Boosters to the max, Space Hippo! Successful capture of Alien Raggles and Alien Rosie! Good work, Space Hippo! Um, well... It's Space Captain Will to you. Um, Space Captain Will, where is Space Hippo? Huh? Oh, no. I'm afraid I haven't seen Space Hippo since I last saw you. Thanks anyway, Big Bear. Did you check the picnic area? He wasn't there. Ah! No, look at the playground. All the bays. Sorry, Will. But don't worry. No one's better at finding things than me. Hi, Will. Did you find Space Hippo? Um, no. Not yet, but we will. What are you looking at? Nothing. Just some old photos, that's all. Oh, there's Space Hippo when he was new. Don't worry, Will. I'm sure we'll find him soon. And I think I know how. These are great. But what are they for? People often put up pictures of missing things. Oh, I get it. So when they see this, they'll know you are looking for Space Hippo. Oh, cool. Let's put them up. <laughs> there. Ha, 
How's it going with the poster? Well, it's rather itchy. No, I mean, did anyone find Space Hippo? Um, the thing is... No, not a single person has seen Space Hippo. It's because he's not new and clean like in the photo. I wish I'd taken more care of him. Don't worry, Will. I'm sure you'll find him again. Will, would you like to borrow my teddy tonight? Hmm. But it's not the... Hmm. Thanks, Holly. Space Captain Will to Space Hipper. Are you receiving me? Where are you? Will! We've got a surprise for you! <sighs> Good morning, Will. I am Astro Alien. <laughs> wow! I made the arms! I made the legs! I know he's not Space Hippo, but... Maybe it's time for a change. Oh, thanks. It's him! I know it's him! I've seen him! What? Space Hippo? Yes! Yes, yes, yes! <gasps> Bluebird, are you sure? It's a hippo in a space helmet. <gasps> That's him! Where? Follow me. I told you they'd love it, dear. Oh, Blue Bird, you were right. We did find the perfect gift. Space Hippo. Uh, excuse me, that's um, a. Uh, happy birthday, little Dormice. Thanks, Will. But that's your Space Hippo. Um, I don't need him anymore. Maybe it's time for the little ones to have him. What is it? You like Astro-Alien? Great, isn't he? I made the arms. I am Astro-Alien. <laughs> Look, Will. They love it even more than Space Hippo. Oh, goodness me. <laughs> I wish we'd found one of those instead. Well... Maybe they could swap Astro Alien for Space Hippo. Oh, really? Only if you don't mind, Will. No, I don't mind at all. Oh. Attention, all aliens! Space Hippo's going to get you! <laughs> <laughs>